Shalom, shalom, brothers and sisters, in Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings, the Alpha, the Omega, the Beginning, and the Ending, who was, and is, and is to come, the Lord, God Almighty, Yeshua, Jesus, the Messiah. Amen. That's according to Isaiah 9, 6, Micah 5, 2, Revelations 1, John chapter 1, Colossians chapter 1. They all speak of Jesus as God in the flesh. Amen. Hello, brothers and sisters. Just letting you know, I probably won't be making too many videos at this point. As, uh, basically, I, I had to leave my mom's apartment uh it's, it's kind of a long story uh but basically i wasn't allowed or my mom told me i'm not allowed to uh talk to the residents outside the apartment uh who smoke weed and who uh basically party outside all night till two in the morning and longer and uh over the past year or so, I, I've had several encounters with people who uh, smoke weed and who are, you know, just very loud. And uh, essentially, the uh, apartment manager said that, you know, she can't control what the residents do uh, outside of the apartment walls, uh, outside of the apartment gate. And therefore, uh, they're allowed to smoke weed and party all night, uh, which is illegal. Uh, but I'm not allowed to say anything. So basically, uh, the apartment manager, who my mom is friends with, is saying that she can't control the residents, but she can control me, who is a guest of my mom. Which makes absolutely no sense whatsoever and it's complete hypocrisy and because they're saying that I'm not allowed to practice my free speech uh, my right to religion uh, that I basically have to be quiet or leave and so I decided to leave because my mom was saying that if she gets evicted because of me then she would blame me and so I don't want my mom's eviction to be on my hands but I can't just sit back and allow people uh, to smoke weed and blow it into my apartment all night and all day and to uh, basically make noise outside of my apartment all night uh, it's not a very good good way to live it's not right it's not right for them to blow their marijuana smoke in public into children's houses uh, into you know whoever walks by gets a whiff of their marijuana drugs okay and that's not right and because uh, they're saying I'm not allowed to say anything uh, that I have to leave and another interesting thing was I uh, I basically I went out and talked to a resident who was outside partying all night the other night him and his friend or his cousin and I go out there at about 1.30 or 2 in the morning and I tell them or they ask me hey what's going on and I say hey I'm just going for a walk because I'm tired of hearing you guys talking all night and right when I said that they both got up and they're about to beat me down uh, pretty two pretty big dudes and uh, I basically just stood there and then, then the resident decided to hold back his friend from beating me up and uh, and then we were talking about religion he admitted that he was wrong for being out there all night but then he started to say that he was God and that he's a real Jew because he's black and that basically I'm a fake Jew and that he is Christ and, and I, the Bible is false and all this other stuff and I basically tell him, no, you're wrong. You're basically going to have to stand before Jesus and give an account for your sins. And then uh, we are somewhat at peace at that time. And then his friends started uh, saying, well, I got to go now. But he was stumbling drunk. He was completely drunk. 
and he said I'm gonna go drive home now and I basically told him you shouldn't be driving you could hurt somebody if you drive that drunk and I told him about my sister who is now brain dead because she got hit by a drunk driver when she was in the car seat at four years old four or five years old and they didn't care about that they just kept uh, accusing me of being evil and all this other stuff and so I just went inside and said I'm done with these people they're not reasonable and I, I go up I go in my house and they're still out there talking and I didn't want to hear them so I go out uh, to go for a walk at 2 a.m. because I was tired of hearing them and uh, as I'm walking out to the street they kept yelling uh, making fun of me uh, saying that my mom's got me on a leash that my mom let me out to go for a walk and that uh, you know all this all it just trash talking me okay trash talking me uh, mocking me as I was walking out to go for a walk and that was the same night that was like 10 minutes after I talked to him and so I was like why are you mocking me and uh, they like roll up their sleeves and they start to run towards me as if they're gonna beat me down and I was like why are you mocking me and then for some reason they didn't beat me down uh, and then I go for a walk uh, maybe like 20 minutes or so 20 or 30 minutes and I come back and they're standing hanging out at his friend's van and he was like he's like hey you know the police came but they didn't do anything like bragging about how the police didn't do anything about them being drunk and loud out there and I was like okay he's like why'd you call the cops and I was like I didn't call the cops and he's like well your mom probably called the cops and I was like, I don't know, I haven't been, I haven't been there. And uh, then as I was walking away, they are like saying like, I know where you live, you know, like you're going to get yours, like all this other stuff. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what they said, but they're basically threatening my life. And then I wake up today and uh, just, you know, and then going about my business in the, in the apartment. <laughs> And my mom comes back, and she, uh, from driving Uber so that we could barely pay our bills, and uh, she said that she talked with the guy for like 20 minutes or whatever. I don't know exactly. I think she said 20 or 30 minutes. And she said that uh, she was talking to him because they're out there all day with their music, sitting on their like camping chairs with their whole family out there, just being super loud. And they're out there and uh, called my mom over to talk. And they basically threatened her saying like, hey, we have all these people, basically all the weed smokers and everybody that I've ever talked to, we're basically... Uh, going to all complain to Becky at once uh, so that you get evicted and so uh, my mom came home and she was like you can't talk to them anymore because they're going to complain and I don't want to get evicted and I said well this is complete hypocrisy this is illegal this is lawless you know all this other stuff and she's like I don't care I don't want to get evicted don't say anything don't get me evicted and I was like okay well then I'm gonna leave because I don't want to sit in my apartment and smell their weed and listen to their trash talking all day and night and uh, obviously the cops don't do anything uh, the cops went there and they, they didn't do anything to those evil people and I've had that uh, problem with cops before they just that they, they wink at the sinners they give them a free pass and that's just how it is and so I, I decided, well, if I can't, if I don't have freedom of speech, freedom of religion, uh, but the sinners do, the sinners can do whatever they want and, you know, basically thread my life, uh, thread me with physical harm, rush me with violence. They're allowed to do all that, but I'm not allowed to tell them that their talking is bothering me. I'm not allowed to tell them that marijuana is illegal to smoke in the public area. So it's complete hypocrisy. I'm not going to live like that. I'm not going to acquiesce to the lawlessness uh, because th their blood is going to be up upon my hands if I don't say anything to them. If I just allow it to keep going. So I decide I'm just going to live out here on the streets and we'll just see what happens. We'll see what happens. 
you know, I, I don't have an easy time on the street. I, I get attacked more uh, by the devil and, and his demons when I'm on the street uh, because they don't like me evangelizing and stuff like that. Um, so basically, I'm just going to stay out here and, and see if I could reach anyone, you know, with my sign, with, uh, with my gospel of Jesus. And hopefully some people will get saved. And hopefully I won't have to smell marijuana and listen to trash talk all day and night. Anyhow, that's my rant. Uh, probably won't be making too many videos unless something uh, transpires. Uh, because it is difficult to make videos uh, as a homeless person. And uh, anyhow, I have a solar panel. I have a solar panel. It's just a 30 watt solar panel and some batteries. Uh, to charge my phone and uh, I have a, a, a wireless uh, router so that I could you know keep up on YouTube videos uh, and uh, but I have to pay it's a pay-as-you-go Wi-Fi router that I was going to use uh, while I was off-grid because me and my mom uh, we're gonna live off-grid in different camping spots so that I could continue my ministry in a tent because we don't really have money to, to keep our bills going. But she doesn't want to do that, so she's just barely scraping by driving for Uber pretty much every day. And, uh, you know, I'm praying it goes well for her. I'm praying that the Lord helps her. Uh, but I just can't stay there and, and allow that injustice uh, to continue. Uh, anyhow, brothers and sisters, I pray you're all well and shalom until next time.